Department of Japan and Thailand. They will, will present their will present their summary of the research. Our, our group consists of five members, and first and Bank and Pai from Chalanka University, and Ilhan and me from Tokyo Tech. We took this picture in the restaurant in Bangkok. Today, I uh, will present uh, on this flow introduction, research results, and research finding, and proposal, and conclusion. Okay, let's get started. Okay, as, as you know, we have many uh, problems in education field, and we have many solutions in different places. But we can't copy the solutions from one place to do, to use in the another place by not changing anything, right? So that we have to learn from the solution in uh, another place and try to adapt or shading uh, and learn the different culture and uh, uh, have to adapt. Uh, for solving the education problems uh, in some way. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, when we start this class, uh, we have to uh, learn about Thailand and Japan. So we discuss uh, in two, uh, two sides, uh, and we have to. Uh, learn from uh, size, size. So we went to many places in Thailand uh, and um, learned from direct experience. Okay, after we learned from many experts, uh, we have to conclude the idea that we learned for, uh, by using the first aid techniques. Uh, for compose the way that uh, we should uh, should be focused. After that, uh, we uh, discuss by using like book call. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for the introductions uh, and your help. I will uh, present about uh, some data for Japan, and this is the statistic of education in Japan and Thailand. Uh, in my presentation, I will focus to the Japanese side. Uh, first, we can see that in most data, Japan is better than Thailand, except for one data, which is the students who reported feeling have bad school. So compared to Thailand, more Japanese schools feel unhappy in schools. Okay, so what actually these data are showing? The first and the second data, well, Personally, I am not surprised because J Japan has the decent, decent education systems. Um, the basic, the elementary, and the secondary education is an obligation in Japan. So Japan should not have any problem with the literacy rate and uh, the number of students that go to the secondary education. In addition, the um, education in Japan also accommodate various career track. So after you graduate from the uh, junior high school, you 
not only can proceed to the high school, but you can also proceed to vocational schools or the specialist training, training college or Koto Semongako. And so uh, there should no problem with this. And about the teacher and student ratio, this is good thing, but we can also detect another problem. You know that the number of children in Japan is sharply decreased nowadays. So uh, we expect that not only the number of the teachers increase, but the number of students decrease, so the ratio becomes uh, larger and larger. Uh, and how about the last data, fourth uh, data? We believe that this caused mainly by the intense examination pressures. Most of students focus on the entrance examination. They believe if they can proceed to good university, they can get good job, and that's the matters, nothing else. So they can enjoy their learning activity, and we also obtain some facts that shows um, most of teachers only focus on the exercise and forgot to do the um, what is called the experiment activity such that the many students in Japan did not experience any experiment during the high school studies. And we also, yeah, uh, it's related to the static educational environment. That's why uh, this fact motivates us to arrange the experimental based education system using the ICT like we are did uh, uh, last week. Okay, that's all my presentation. Okay, let's move to another slide. It is about the research results from Thailand. As you can see, and Johan mentioned before, that in first row and the third row, the data from Thailand and Japan is very similar. But in the second row, population with at least some secondary education in Thailand is less than Japan. In the research, we found that Thai Thailand has many, many families in Thailand is poor, so the students decide, many students decide to leave the school to find a job and making money instead of continuing the secondary school. And the fourth row that showed the students who reported feeling happy at school, you can see Thai students are happier than Japanese students because in my opinion I think Thai students are happy when they go to school because they can talk, share and do many many activities with their friends and we think the school is not just a place that we just take knowledge and read books and to find the university but we think it is a place that we can get many, many experiences through the teenage life. Thank you. Okay, let's move to research finding. Okay, okay uh, let's we talk about what we find next. Okay, first let's start with the commonality between Japan and Thailand. Uh, first, it's clearly Japan and Thailand have similar political systems. Uh, ho however, in Japan we call the emperor, but in Thailand they call uh, the, their leader king, but uh, we also have a prime minister. And uh, both country also utilizing uh, if is, uh, are also utilizing what is called the ICT related education program. In Japan, there's a Hoso Daigaku program or broadcasting university program, while in Thailand, there's have the Royal Thai project. The Royal Thai project is basically a project to broadcast the course from the big city uh, to the so that the students 
in rural area who cannot access the higher education can still learn. You know that uh, in Thailand, they are still in dealing with the issues which the number of schools cannot accommodate the number of students that want the studies. So, yeah, we can see that the, the teachers uh, and student number but uh, not good in Thailand. So, uh, the next things, in the university level, in Japan we have Titek W and Titek X, which is the part of the, our online education initiative using MOOC. In Thailand, they have a course field, the interactive the study environment. And the next things that uh, we find in common is that in class behavior, both students in both countries uh, start, start and uh, focus on the exercise, they focus in the entrance examination. We are dealing with the same issue here. Uh, by the way, what, what is shy? Shy is mean that they are reluctant to ask questions during the lecture, and yeah, so after the lecture, they just finish and over. And last but not least is the popularity of the cram schools uh, or juku in Japan. Uh, the, both in, in both country we observe that uh, juku is popular, but in Taiwan, uh, like uh, this argument, why I uh, choose this personally, because this uh, juku is utilizing the ICT technology, so students don't have to go to the place, they can access the material online learn anywhere. But why this is so important for Thailand? Because Thailand is dealing with the very, very bad traffic jam problem. So it, you will have to spend a lot of time to uh, travel from one place to another place. That, that's why the search system is very significant. OK, that's my part. I talk about the difference between Thailand and Japan. We find many differences between two countries. For example, the, uh, the university system, uh, interest exam systems, or the equipment in the high school. But I think the biggest difference is here, uh, difference between schools in cities and countryside. We visited three three high school in Thailand. First is Mahido High School and second is Satichua and third is True German <laughs> School. And Mahido High School is a very uh, high level high school which is, uh, which is which is very specialized in science education. And the students are so smart and uh, there are plenty of equipment for experiments and they do they, they are doing research even though they are high school students. And the study is uh, I think this is very similar to Japanese high school. And the last uh, this high school is uh, is located in countries uh, in countries side of Thailand. And um, there are few schools in countryside, and the government trying to uh, establish schools, but there is not enough. And and, okay, and that and so the difference between so uh, between high level school and not so high level school is very big. But, uh, uh, but there are no, uh, in Japan there are some high level schools such as we, uh, such as the high school we visited uh, last week. But um, I think there are not so much difference in Japan in cities and countryside. Okay. And that's why uh, there are so many uh, city equipment in Thailand. So, 
after our fighting we found and everything we have made, we have thinking a lot and have thinking very heavily and thoughtfully. Then we have made a course called Best Wireless Education in Science and Technology. That is uh, the full name of Best. And what we think is that uh, we want the student to, to be not just a passive element in the classroom, like the face-to-face, -face, uh, old-fashioned uh, classroom in 100 years ago, or something like that. So we, make, we want to make something new that a student uh, will be joy, participate in learning activity, yeah, not just a passive element in the classroom. So, uh, and after we have discussed a lot about the topics to be teach, uh, we compare the cause, the cause, uh, the subject that thought that has been thought in Japan and Thailand, and then we found that uh, electromagnetic is a very, very good topic to teach. But what we think is not just for electromagnetic, it can be transformed or applied with other subjects too. So, and, and this is in the opportunity of the program. That's all, it's okay. They can apply the knowledge that daily life 